Hi everybody. In this video tonight, we're going to talk about what a function is. This is a, a, a vocabulary word that gets thrown around a lot, um, but it, sometimes people aren't very specific about what exactly a function is. So I want to clear that up here tonight. First of all, a function involves a domain and a range. So I'm going to write down domain and range. And let's just kind of like do a, I'm gonna write down black box. The function is like a black box for the, something goes into the black box that's an input, a domain, and it produces an output, which is called the range. And um, the function uh, does something with the input, the domain that produces uh, the output, that's all it is. Um, there, there's two requirements for something being a function. Uh, the first one is every input has an output. That's the first requirement. And the second is every input has a distinct output. That means that uh, basically every input that you put into the black box has to give you some output, has to get, go somewhere. And also every time you put in a certain input, the output has to be the same. Um, if you put in a certain input and then, you know, one time it gives you, you know, one output, another time a different one, that's not a function. Um, so let's just kind of start out with a domain, five, nine, two, seven, four and keep it simple here. I'm just making these up. 10, negative two, 37, uh, eight, and uh, zero. Mm -hmm. So maybe five is linked to 37, and nine goes to zero, and four goes to eight, and seven goes to 37. And um, uh, notice that, um, I guess two needs to go somewhere, doesn't it? Two can go to 10. Um, so what I've set up here with my domain and range is a, I'm going to just say a set. And that's a, uh, it uses curly brackets. And the set is a bunch of ordered pairs, five and 37, for example. And then nine and zero is another point, a relation in the set, two and 10. These ordered pairs are called relations. And then seven and 37. Right, yeah. And then four and eight. So this is a function because it passes my two rules. Um, every input, every domain item goes somewhere. And also nine only goes to zero, four only goes to eight, seven only goes to 37, five only goes to 37. It's okay that five and seven both lead to the same outcome. That's fine. Uh, every input has a distinct output, it only goes to one spot. If I had drawn a line saying four goes to zero right here, along with going to eight, that would have caused it to not be a function. So let me show you an analogy that might help with this. It's the uh, letter and mailbox analogy. So letter mailbox. Uh, so let's just, name some letters, so A, B, they don't have to be numbers, just keep it simple, A, B, C, D, E, and mailboxes will be uh, 9, 12, 2, uh, 31, and uh, 14, and 25. And uh, so the deal is that every letter, every input has to have an output, that means every letter has to go somewhere. And that's true with letters. If you mail a letter, it's going to go somewhere. So maybe A goes to uh, 9, and B goes to 12, and C goes to mailbox 25, and uh, D goes to mailbox 25 also, and uh, E goes to mailbox 2. So let's analyze this. Um, first of all, every input, this is the input, by the way, and this is the output or you can call it the domain and the range. 
whatever you want to call it, it means the same thing. So first of all, every input goes to an output. Every letter goes to a mailbox. That is true. A goes to nine, B goes to 12, C goes to 25, D goes to 25, E goes to two, okay. Every letter goes somewhere. The second requirement is that every input has a distinct output. That means every letter just goes to one mailbox. So uh, letter A goes to mailbox nine, letter B goes to mailbox 12. It's not trying to go to two different mailboxes. You can't do that. Uh, C only goes to mailbox 25. D only goes to mailbox 25. Now, one thing about mailboxes, mailboxes can have more than one letter. That's fine. A mailbox could have lots of letters. It could also be empty. That's also fine. So we have two empty mailboxes here. Uh, we have one mailbox of two letters, and then these mailboxes have just one letter. And so that is, I think, a good analogy to help you kind of keep straight the two rules that make up some make something a function. Every input goes to some output, and uh, each input can only go to one output, but it is fine if one output does uh, link to more than one input. So I hope this helps you out. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.